Hi everybody, this is Umair. I'm back with the second part of this tutorial series of developing snake game in Java. In the previous part, we just introduced our game that what we are gonna do. In this part, we will implement the user interface for our game. And for that, you can see that uh, on my screen that I've opened Eclipse on my system. Uh, and in here, I'll just go to the file new and make a new Java project. I'll name this project 2D snake. Okay, I'll click on next and then finish. You can see that uh, the project has been created in my package explorer. I'll just expand it and you can see there are two main folders uh, and a library file. Uh, I'll right click on source and make a new Java class. I'll name this class main and check this main method because this is the method the compiler comes first. Uh, so I'll click on finish. You can see that my class has been created uh, right here and right uh, here in the default package. Uh, so first uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to make uh, a JFrame. JFrame is the window uh, in which our game runs. Uh, so for that uh, I'll just go and write JFrame and make a new object for it. You can see that it's showing an error, so I'll just uh, import the package for that, import javax.swing.jframe. And now I'll set the properties for this frame, like what should be the background color, what should be the title, what should be the size of this frame. And so for that, I'll first set the set bounds. Okay. I'll go with 10, 10 it has a width of 9 or 5 and height of 700. Now I'll set the background, background should be dark gray. Set resizable. I'll just set it to false so that the user may not resize the window of my game. And now I will set visibility equals to true. And lastly, I will set the default close operation to exit on close. So these are all the properties that we need in this game. So it will make a new object of this frame, set the size, set the background, set if it is uh, resizable or not, set its visibility. So now let's see if we can see our frame or not. Okay, you can see that uh, it a new window has been opened uh, and this is the frame. And now what we need to do, we need to implement our panel uh, and add that panel inside this frame. Uh, so for that, we are gonna make a new class inside the same package so I will right click here and name it as gameplay and click on finish all right so now I need to extend a class J panel and then add the object of this class inside this object all right so I'll go here and extend J panel all right, it has uh, uh, some methods that uh, we need to implement in this class. So I'll just go here and import the package for it. And now you can, you can see that I have extended the J panel in this class. And now I'm go, going back and make a new object for that class. Gameplay. All right. And now I will add the object of gameplay to the object of JFrame. And this is all we need to do in this main class. Now everything we will do later on will be in this gameplay class. So for that I will just go and make a new constructor for this class. 
but now let's leave it empty okay so public void paint graphics g okay and now i'll import the package for the graphics class now you can see that this is the method this is the built-in method that uh, that draws each and everything on the on the panel so and now we will need to use this object the object of this graphics class to draw everything you can see that we have a header at the top of our panel uh, and we need to add an image for that and other than this we need to add the playing area under that header uh, so before proceeding further i just want to show you that if you have seen the previous part of my game uh, then i have given the link in the description just click on that link and download the assets that we need for this game uh, so now uh, what we need to do is we need to bring those assets inside this project so i will just go to my desktop and develop snake game assets and i will select all these assets and drag these to my project so you can see that i have brought all the assets in my game in my project uh, and now we can use these images for this part we just need to uh, add the snake title so for that i will go and make a new object for image icon class so title image all right we need to implement it for that we need to bring the package for that and now inside this paint method uh, we are going to draw this title uh, before that uh, i'm just gonna show you that uh, we have we need to implement four things first we need to implement the border of that title image and then we need to draw the title image inside that border after that we need to draw the border of the playing area of the snake and then we need to implement the background color for that playing area for the snake uh, so for that uh, i'll just go and first draw the border so draw title image border and now first we will set the color I'll go and set the white color then I will draw the rectangle rectangle it has x value to 24 y to 10 width is 8 5 1 and height is 55 all right now i will draw the title image okay so for that i will you, you can see that i have uh, declared the object for this image icon so title image equals to new image icon and I will write the name of the file inside these double quotes so I will write title jpg okay and now I will paint this icon I'll set the context to this the object should be the name of this graphics object and that is G and the X axis should be the 25 and Y axis should be 11 all right and now we have drawn our title image and drawn the border for that title image and after that we need to draw the border for the playing area gameplay and for that I will set the color I 
I'll set the same color to white. And now I will draw rectangle. Okay. So for that, x axis should be 24, the y axis should be 74, the width should be 851, and height should be 557. Alright. So now I need to draw background for the gameplay. And I have to set the black color for the background so I will set the color first color dot black now I will fill the rectangle and for that I will set the x axis to 25 y axis to 75 width should be 850 and height should be 575 Another thing I just want to tell you that these are the values that I have already calculated because uh, these are necessary for the game to run efficiently. Because I have set the sprites for the enemies mouse for the enemy circles and my snake images that are 25 by 25. So the width and height of the gameplay area should be multiple of 25 so that's why I have set it to 850 and the 575 so that the snake fits inside this gameplay area so now we have made what we are intended to do in this part uh, so let's see what we have now so let's play it so now you can see that I have set the uh, header image at the top and under that I have the gameplay area and I have set the border for that gameplay area to white and set the border uh, for the header at the top. Uh, so this was all for this part. Uh, in the next part we will start implementing the movement for the snake. Uh, so make sure to subscribe this channel and share it if you like it and comment below if you have any questions. See you in the next part. Thank you.